Hello YouTube. Today we are going to have a dolly dress up with my beautiful Quinn. We are changing her out of this outfit into this shirt and vest and these bell-bottom jeans that I got her off AliExpress. And um, we're also going to have some information for you. Um, Quinn brought me a letter in and prophecy has disappeared. Um, Sassy and Kabuki said all they heard her say when she woke up in the middle of the night was, I found them, I know where, they're, where they are, and I've got to go to them. And then she disappeared. See, prophecy has this unique ability to be able to um, open portals to other worlds. And um, her, all of her people have to do it. It has to do with her third eye. And she left. The girls couldn't stop her. They don't know where she went. But don't worry, I'm sure she'll be back. But we're all trying to figure out what she meant about she's found them and she's got to go save them. We're trying to figure that out right now because we don't know. She's been kind of secretive about her life and hasn't really said much about her life. So we don't really know that much really about prophecy other than she comes from the Helix Nubula um, galaxy and that she came from a planet called Diva. And um, it's a planet that revolves around a red sun, but it's not a dying sun. It's just the way their sun is. Their sun is, is a red sun and it supplies everything like ours. It sits, their planet sits just right where the sun is at to be able to give them what they need to grow and live the way our, our sun does here. And, um, so, I mean, nobody even really knows how old prophecy really is because her people can live to be over, well, to be about two, 3000 years old before they decide to ascend. So nobody really even knows how old she really is. And, um, that being said, we are worried about her. <coughs> Excuse me, but we're hoping she'll be okay. And we'll come back soon. Um, it was just really weird. The girls told me that um, her whole thing was weird. And she'd been having dreams all night because she has visions as well. So um, Sassy thinks it might have something to do with the man that she loved when she was on her planet. And... Um, that's all she would say about the matter. So, um, I guess it starts. <laughs> I guess everything starts as of today. Um, I don't know what more to say about that. I mean, Sassy comes from the same galaxy. Her planet is um, a desert planet. Her people are nomadic nomad nomads like they don't um stay in one place they live and move with the tides like our native americans do here um their planet is more egyptian like you know like from egypt like egypt is here and there are small oases throughout it but um we'll work on sassy's little background story later uh, right now, I want to focus on prophecy. So, um, prophecy story is going to be going. I'm going to start with chapter one eventually, and chapter one is going to be called Prophecy. And as we're doing her background story, I will also fill you in on any new information I get on why she decided to take off the way she did. Um, it'll be a great surprise for everybody and for me, really, because I'm going to be doing this the old fashioned way, which was people would gather around and then you would have a person in a, in a village who was known as a storyteller. And then that person would sit down with everybody around them and start telling the stories. So this is how I'm going to do this story. So it will bounce around a lot. 
but it will be, I'm hoping, really interesting. Um, and um, I'm going to focus, like I said, mostly on prophecy at the moment. And then I will cover everybody else as the story progresses. Um, so Sassy thinks that prophecy may have gone back to her planet, and he's, she's hoping she hasn't because their planet is not safe right now. And um, they're, the reason they left their galaxy, because their galaxy is actually not safe at the moment to be in due to some unwanted incidences that are happening, things that don't normally happen in their galaxy and we hope never happens here. And um, Kabuki doesn't understand what's going on because she's not from, from where they're at. So she's just like trying to figure out why um, Sassy and um, Zoe are so worried about her at this point. So um, Quinn here is just like questioning everything and everyone right now about everything that's going on at this point because she doesn't understand it either. And nobody understands why prophecy would just take off like that. But she's been having secrets, so we'll find out what the secrets are as time goes on. And we'll all learn about Prophecy's home and about Prophecy and her history and her planet and all that together. And hopefully everybody will like this as it goes on. So I'm going to try to do my best to come up with a storyline as I go through it little by little because it will all be right there as it is at the moment that I'm doing it. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, that's where that's going at the moment. So let's see, we got that, 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 that. And let's see, now let's put, I do believe the peace sign should go back on for sure. And I think the beads too, but she doesn't need the leather choker, I don't think. I don't think the leather choker should be going on. It might be too much with all this that's going on in her outfit already. Let's see. Actually, no, that'll be okay. Yep, that looks good. Okay, where's your head, my beauty? So, um, we probably think what I'm thinking is that she found some of her family because. There was things that was going on when everybody got separated and some of the, everybody's family got separated from them. And some of them, of course, never made them. We'll cover that as I go through everything. And there she is, my little hippie. Her hippie beads. Her peace sign. Her choker. I'm going to put all of her other stuff back on her. So I'm hoping all of you are enjoying this video with some of this information that I'm giving you about prophecy. Um, the next time I get a chance to do this, I'm going to try to do it, do a part of this once a week. But like I said, getting time for myself is not always the easiest thing in the world for me to be able to do. There she goes, girl eyes. What do you think about her? Huh? Quinn's all ready to go and rock. Go hang out at the hippie park. Listen to some hippie music. Hang out with her hippie friends. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to get her boots on the way I'd like to, so I'm going to have to sadly put tennis shoes on her, and they didn't really do tennis shoes that much back then. It was mostly moccasins and boots and sandals. But this, jeans are a bit short, 
So, I don't know. Well, there she is. What do you think, guys? Let me know. Leave comments below. And um, if you like this video, let me know. And if you're curious to hear more information on what's going on with prophecy, leave comments be below as well. If you're interested in hearing more about that, as I am interested in knowing what you guys like to hear from me on. And um, the story begins today. So there you go. Prophecy has taken off. And we're all going to be keeping an eye out for her and following her as much as we can. I will think more on the story and try to keep it in mind. Um, next week, we will start with chapter one called Prophecy. So hope you all enjoy this video. If you did, let me know. Hit link, share it, subscribe, hit the little bell so you get notifications when I'm leaving videos. And in the meantime, keep calm and carry a smart doll.